I'm in the kitchen today. Uh, gonna make some uh, cheddar cheese soup. Uh, today's a good day. Gosh, it was only uh, like uh, 45 this morning we got up. That's uh, that's cold for Florida in October. Uh, so uh, we're gonna make some cheddar cheese soup today. All right, here's my uh, ingredients for uh, my cheddar cheese soup. Uh, of course, I'm using some uh, sharp cheddar. I've got a pound of that. I've got a nice big onion, some garlic, and uh, chicken broth. Um, also, I'll be using some butter. I always add a little butter, just give it a little bit of creaminess in the in the body of it. So that's my basic ingredients. The uh, first step is I gotta shred that cheddar cheese all up into small pieces and uh, cut my onion and garlic up. Yeah, I wanted to uh, show you how I uh, chop up my uh, my onion. What I what I usually do is uh, first I cut these ends off. Now it helps to have a good sharp knife. And you know something? I sharpen knives and sharpen knives, but I don't have a what I call a good sharp knife. So I cut the ends of it off. I take and just cut it in two, and then I take it, get in that top layer and, and remove the uh, the skin just from the uh, top layer. There, and then I end up with two pieces like this. All right, if you look at an onion. Uh, you'll see the green. You'll see uh, see the way the lines come around. So if you end up, if you cut it one way, you're going to get longer pieces. But if you cut it this way, from the length way, ways of it, and so what I do is I end up I cut like little slices up in here. So I cut a whole bunch and I try to hold it together. Not easy to do. This is much easier to do with a real sharp knife. And like I say, my knives aren't all that great. And uh, I have a sharpening stone and I sharpen them and it helps a little bit. But not where I see those guys on TV. They chop up their onions and it's just chomp, chomp, chomp so much easier on it. And so, uh, you know, I need, uh, I need a better knife on it. So then I hold them together and then I chop, cut them this way. And then what this essentially does is, when I'm done, see I got little small little pieces. It's a nice way to chop your onion up. It really works out, out pretty good. It's a little rougher when you get down to the end there. But anyways, when you see, see you end up with these uh, nice little pieces of chopped onion. Alright, here's how I uh, shred my cheese up. I have this little grater here. And I just take the whole hunk. And I just pull it down over it there until I get my uh, my shredded cheese up. And you can see it makes a nice little 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 shredded cheese there. All right, I got my uh, ingredients all prepped up. Um, it's the cheese. That's the one pound of cheese. It's all shredded up. You got to shred it up so it melts nicely into the uh, chicken broth. And uh, I have my uh, garlic cloves that are all peeled ready to go. I'll run them through the uh, through the garlic press and. Uh, got my onions they're all chopped up nicely and some butter so what I'm gonna do here and I'm gonna try a little different than I normally do is I'm gonna take the butter and melt it down add the onions and add a little flour to it then the chicken broth and try to use a little thickening agent just to see how that comes out just a little different way than I normally do it all right in the middle of my cooking my uh, uh, cheddar cheese soup uh, TV said there's an Atlas rocket is going to be taken off here, so I uh, thought I'd stop a minute see if I could get some videos of it. Uh, they just do this every so often. It's a beautiful clear day if it gets it off here, so it should be coming up this direction here, so we'll keep an eye open for it. Taking off. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on it. You can kind of see the trail there right by the telephone pole, but it just kind of disappeared quick. I can see it on up there. All right, I'm uh, melting my butter down and uh, as soon as I get it all melted down, I'm going to uh, put the onions in it and uh, saute the onions a little bit in the butter. And then I'm going to add about a quarter of a uh, cup of flour and uh, kind of let that work itself in. And then I'll start adding my uh, chicken broth. And then from there, I'll start adding the cheese. All right, I've uh, added the uh, onions there and I'm melting the butter down here. So. Uh, and we're going to melt those down and kind of saute the, uh, the onions up good within the, in the butter then. Alright, I've got the uh, onions uh, 
kind of sauteed where so now I'm gonna sprinkle some uh, flour over top of the the onions and mix this up and basically what I've done here is kind of kind of making a, uh, a roux, roux probably getting a lot of steam in there uh, so I'm gonna stir them down here and uh, so I kind of get the flour brown just a little so uh, I added a little bit of the chicken broth there because it's pretty thick and uh, cooking down some of the uh, the uh, roux there makes kind of like a paste. I like to cook it a little bit because if you don't get rid of the uh, cook it just a little bit, you get a real floury taste on it. So I'm just trying to cook some of the floury taste out of it right yet. And uh, so now I'm going to uh, crush my garlic up in there and uh, get it in there so it kind of cooks a little bit with the roux. All right, I'm going to add a couple uh, chicken bouillon cubes. Just adds a little more flavor. I know there's a lot of sodium in it, a lot of salt, but you know I, I like flavor and. Uh, I don't always watch my health like I should, but uh, I just like things that taste good. Here's my roux. I've got uh, two cans of the uh, chicken broth in it with the onions there, and we're heating it up. I want to get it to a nice little boil when I start adding the cheese to it, so the cheese melts really nice. All right, now I'm starting to uh, add some of my shredded cheese. I try, try to put it in slowly there, mix it around there, and let it uh, a chance to uh, to melt down good. Um, sometimes it's hard to film the a pot sometimes when you're cooking because you, I know I moved the camera off the pot there but uh, so you get the idea of what I'm doing all right I've got all the cheese uh, in the soup I'm just kind of letting it simmer looks like the uh, consistency is just about right beautiful color to it oh, so it's, uh, I think it's going to be good we'll uh, let it simmer down a little bit here and then we'll put some in a bowl and give it a try it really is pretty simple to make doesn't take very long all right here's uh, all finished up cheese soup. What I did notice, I normally don't use butter in it, and uh, I saw a recipe for that, so I'll give it a try. But I see the, the butter has kind of rise to the top a little bit, which it really ain't gonna hurt nothing. Just give it a stir when you eat it and incorporate the butter together. I think if you took a whisk or uh, one of those uh, little electric uh, mixer things and put it in there, and you would maybe incorporate it a little bit better. You know, I could do that, maybe next time I'll try it that way, but it, uh, it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. 